Post Hill and Thompson should be a fantastic match. Hopefully a little bit better than some of our match of the days that we've been picking in the last couple of weeks. Certainly last week's was a bit of a one-sided affair between Thompson and Geelong West Creedon Football Club this afternoon. While well, the Panthers and the Tigers both in the top five at the moment. Thompson are sitting in second spot and Bell Post Hill in fifth. So it's going to be a pretty crucial game, especially for Bell Post Hill here at home. They really need to win. As I welcome my co-commentator this afternoon, as always, the biggest man in local football, Ron Brain. Good afternoon. Hopefully we can get the call up a little bit better than what it was last week. We were a little bit flat last well, week, weren't yeah, we? Yes, certainly were. And we do apologise to the sides. But I think really what sh should happen is the Geelong West Cricket and Football Club should apologise for their performance because it was dismal. <laughs> dismal. Now, just coming up into the box now, and we'll just get Brett Rovere out of the way and stop eating his lunch our technical wizard and producer he, he was back in the twos this afternoon for thompson he couldn't get them up for a win but the all is coming up he's got his he's got his lunch with him as well it's a pretty bit of a tough afternoon for our part-time guest commentator and part-time reserves footballer is that what we call you actually i was speaking to a few people around the thompson footy club and they would have said that you would have got a game today if you had played last week too shane so uh as he sits down now a couple of late changes for both sides too as we uh go into this round 10 match. Bell Post Hill have one change. They've got Sean Lewis into their side. Now, we watched him a few weeks ago up here. Ronnie and uh, put on a pretty good performance, a youngster. Yeah, great inclusion for the side. And uh, the more I look at the side on the ground for the Bell Post Hill side, the more excited I get. They're at home here up the hill. Uh, Thompson, a couple of late withdrawals. And uh, these two players, uh, big losses for the Tigers. They've, they average between 8 and 12 goals a week. And I'm speaking of Mark Cowens and Christian McFarlane key centre-half forward and full forward players. So I'm going to go Bell Post Hill comfortably here this afternoon, and I believe Shane Grabson is agreeing with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't nod your head and then say no. Wash your mouth out. <laughs> Yeah, and also, well, Chris Gardner's out also and Jamie Backwell from last week. So four players out Ooh. of the Thompson side mm -hmm. today. And uh, Andrew Carmody's in. Also, uh, I think Dale McDonald's back and uh, Steve Harding and James Wallace. So a few changes in the Thompson side this afternoon. And Grappy, you would have got a game this afternoon if you had played last week. I was oh, thinking. not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. You had a pretty bad game in the, in the twos, didn't you? Well, I played okay for a quarter and a half. <laughs> Get back into some fitness, eh? Yeah. Up pies this afternoon, Ronnie. Yeah, Darren Bench, Jonathan Grapsis, yeah, and a uh, relation of yours too, I believe. <laughs> 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 You'll be right. Staple and boundary goals. Rob Perez and Ray Menzies. Good luck to the men in white, as uh, we see now. Umpire in bench. Commence play. Up in there, Taylor against Moranovic, and Moranovic gets a good thump too towards centre half forward. Atchison on Batty there from centre half back. Well, he leads in the race of all, holding the ball. Umpire Bench is right on the money there. He gives a free kick. Brett Felbin to take it. He does. He goes towards half back. Oh, Stein gets up there one hand and takes the mark. Thompson in a close one for Brett Rovere. I'm also going to go for Thompson. I'm just going to stick my neck out and think they might just be able to win as Lamb goes towards oh. the wing now. Justin, Justin, the echoes there. He's out. No, but Osborne and you're over there. Osborne! Osborne! Bell Post Hill, yes, Ronnie Brown. Strong, nuggety, tattooed. Dashing half back, <laughs> lovely footy, long penetrating kick to the lead of White, the assistant coach. He looks and he like hasn't you. let me down, David <laughs> White. Pays on quickly, looks up for all, but in the way for the Tigers. Mark Harris, well down from full back, takes the grab for the Tigers. And I think you're outnumbered this afternoon because Grappa certainly will be going for the Tigers. So it's three course. against one. Harris goes towards the wing and finds his coach Richardson. Plays on quickly, gives it to Stein. Shepherded well by Timmy Gardner. Gives it to the echo. Justin, Justin on half forward. Gets his left foot to it. Up towards McDonald. Punched away by Cameron Carr. He's got support in Scooter now. Now Christian Scooter across half back. Oh, and he's got a player out there wide by himself. And that was Mark Hancock. He gets around Lunchy Gardner. Keeps going. He's on the wing running through the centre now. Left foot kick. It's a poor one. He hasn't got a lot to kick to. It's one against one. It's Burke up there against Stossick Burke sits and waits, goes towards the safety of the boundary line. He might be able to find it, is he? Nan Kerbis going to break it off. Looks like it might be just inside. Nan Kerbis has kept it in. Well done. Handball's back. He's got support. No, now he was out. He took it out just at the last minute. And it's going to be a boundary throw in on that wing position on a fairly cold day at Panther Park this afternoon. Ronnie? Yeah, freezing, mate. Real chatter, shattering stuff out here at the park. That's at the... Uh Panther Park as we back to the footy and the hill through David Cook, the coach. Shocking kick though, Cookie. Oh, it's Queen Bowl, the Tiger defence. David Burke, you naughty boy there. As we see now the Panthers, an opportunity that uh, some good pressure from the Tigers squeeze the ball out of bounds. Have a bounty throw in about 50 metres from the bell post hill. You, goal. you have had a bit of sleep this week, haven't you? Thank you very much. You're in fine fettle this afternoon. Unbelievable. <laughs> Good to see. Your okay. assistant coach looks like you, Brain. <laughs> oh, David White. <laughs> yeah, I don't have fine football too, don't you worry about that. He'll probably kick 10, so that'll make you, you know, shut your face, mate. <laughs> 
Get those chips in here. Grab it. You'll be right. Banty throwing now. Right, we do sneak in. Taylor Moranovic. It's over the back of the pack. There's Dench, the chrome dome. Over towards Mickey Gann. Oh, he's going to kick across the face of goal. It's going to be dangerous. David Wall is going to beat Stein in the race of the ball. He's still got it in front of him now. The boundary line might beat him, though. No. Oh, it's still kept in. Stein gets back on hands and knees. Two against two. Now it's out of bounds. In the opposite forward pocket. And it's going to be a throw in. With the Panthers attacking. About 20 metres out from their goal. Two and a half minutes gone in the first quarter. No score on the board as yet. Tigers doing well in defence though, Jason. There's no way they are. go. Yeah, Stein goes short to Gann, and then he goes short to Lamb, who had a good game last week against the uh, Cheetahs on the wing. Mickey Gann's done well since been moved to defence. He certainly yeah. has. He goes up towards the wing. Oh, there oh, he goes up. Man. Held on to anyway as he took the mark, so he's going to take the free kick. Brett Osborne there, the offender for the Panthers. Can't play this kid. Just the defensive side of wing. Short little kick out, Lamb. Good kick. Good kick too. He came down from half back after a, a kick a couple of minutes ago. So now he's got it just on the half forward flank. Bartolo standing the mark. Not not much on offer for him. There's no mark count this afternoon as we set it full forward. Menzies looks like he's up there. Nan Curvis goes up, can't take the mark. Osborne's over the top. Coming through Rutherford, little left foot kick around the corner. Got to be in front in this situation. Good punch away. Cameron Carr's got it. That punch away was from Gibbs. Cameron Carr, good kick to Feldman. Feldman on half back now. Chips over the top, looks to Hancock in front. Oh, the rubber man. Atchison in front. Takes a great grab for the Tigers. BOG last Saturday. Chips it in board to the, the gardener. Timmy Boy, beautiful footy. Sees the lead out there. I think you'll find it's the coach. You'll be right next week, Tim. The coach, about 55, and uh, distance won't be a problem. Accuracy could be the trouble. I think you'll be all right anyway, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this man, he'll sure. take two paces and kick at 80 metres. Brings back memories, it does. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard, yeah. <laughs> Larry. Oh, he's taken three, four, five. He's made a lot out of me. But have a look at the footy. It's a lovely oh, kick. The big fellas popped it through for the first six-pointer. The coach of the Tigers, Ella Richardson. Yeah, good kick, Timmy Gardner. And we see Grabbit just finishing off the salad roll. Good to see special comments so far in the first four minutes have been sensational, yeah, haven't and they? We need a bit more than. Salad roll's too good. <laughs> they do a good feed up here, don't they? Actually, it's quite good. <laughs> <laughs> Might be a move on next year, Grabbit. No, <laughs> never. Only get the sausage roll, salad and sauce. Mm. Bell post still. Oh, for them. Yet to score. Thompson have only been an attacker for a couple of moments and they've got the one goal. They're one straight goal, six points. And they're in front. Taylor and Moranovic. Taylor gets a tap down towards nobody in particular. The Eke runs through without it. Osborne, who's had a bit of the footy in the first five minutes, out towards Lamb. Now he'll be able to he push it out in front of him. That's the way he always does it. Scooter's back there. Wall also gets wrapped mm -hmm. up by Bench. Good tackle. Over towards Tommy Sveljak. The little legs are pumping. Goes up towards half forward Bartolo and Mickey Gann. That should be a good contest as well. Good, good tackle. tackle, Mickey Gann. He's back in there too. He hasn't got much support there at the moment. It's two against one. He's done very well to bottle the ball up at half back. Good effort, wasn't it? It was. Yes, yeah, so far, credit goes to the defence of the Tigers. They're really making it tough work there for the Panthers. At half forward now, member side here of Panther Park. The big boy there, number 20, Dean Carl. No, it's not. It's Diddy uh, <laughs> I've got to look on the right page, oh. stupid. Because this is the home game, see? And they've mucked it up because they've got the Thompson side listed first. Get it right, Doherty, will you? That's <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's because they... <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to explain it. Don't worry, you call it. I know, they swapped it around. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> okay, back to the footy. Moranovic <laughs> behind you. Must get in front. <laughs> Deary me, Taylor, too big and strong. Got the ball to the ground, and it's out of bounds. <laughs> About 75 metres from the Bell Post Hill goal, who haven't really looked like getting it past half forward to date. Thrown in now. Short little throw in by the looks of it because Taylor and Moranovic standing very close. Gardner gets it down. Cookie, there he is. Handball only as far as his opposite number in Richardson goes long back towards centre half forward. Scooters underneath it. Oh, good mark. Yeah. Had his eye on it all the time and was the only guy to keep his eye on it. Take the mark at half back in front of Justin. Justin. Looking for something up the ground. Batty leads through him long. Atchison's going to be behind. Gardner in front. Oh, free Soft kick pushing free it back. Kick. And it was Michael, there. Michael Batty's going to take it. He's just. On the wing position outside the centre square. He's got Cook in short. He elects to go further afield. 
White led for him, but he goes further than that. Taylor gets up, could have marked oh. it, punched it away. He's got Stein in front of the pack. He's got support also. He does now. Timmy Gardner oh, walks around one, as he always does. Short little kick. Oh, he's going to put his teammates under pressure. They're, they're equal to it, though. Atchison's one of them. He gets the kick away towards the open wing position. Cameron Carr leads in the race of the ball. Been in good form this season. Right foot kick back to whence it came, and Atchison takes the mark at centre-half back. Richardson's on. OK, lovely footy as we see that... Uh, What's Richardson happened there? Richardson's been on since the no, start free of the kick, game. Free you kick, wanker. McDonald. What are you talking about, Grapper? I knew what you meant, Grapper. He was on mm. for the kick towards what centre-half you forward. Play keeps, get off it. play keeps going now, McDonald. Poor kick by him. Falls towards Nathan Lewis. Left foot kick out towards Cameron Carr. He's got time to on the wing to set something up. He can take a bounce. He elects to keep running now. Close mm. to the boundary line. Poor kick too towards his forwards. Stosic gets wrapped up. Comes back towards little Gardner. Look at him. Lunchy now. Gets away like his brother Tim. Takes a bounce. He can set something up. Short little kick towards Ambrose Kelly. He takes the mark on the wing. Come on, Ronnie. Yeah, Ambrose Kelly. Yeah, impressive youngster. Does the hard work. A lovely In drop punt. Could have been a push. Yes, it was. Good call, Shane. Grabs us. He's opened the other eye. Means he's open. And it looks like the coach. Bingo, the big torpedo. A lovely kick good up there. Oh, good work. Good work. And a lovely grab at what a spiral torpedo. He's kicked at 78 and a half metres. And Grapper's just saying that he's an umpire and a coach in, in one mouth. It's unbelievable. He got the free kick and then he said Menzies was on. Yeah. Unbelievable. Good vision up here. <laughs> <laughs> Better vision than what we've got, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Now, Dale Menzies kicked five last week. Can you focus uh, the camera, Brett? Thank you. Been, uh, a handy <laughs> player since being moved to the forward line. Yeah, very good last yeah. week, wasn't he? Oh, Kick five. Yeah, excellent. He's yeah. kicking with confidence. But That's another goal. Oh, great Don't kick. tell me he's popped it through. Ho, 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 ho. And the Tigers are roaring. Panthers can't even get up a purr at the minute. Even their back pocket clapped that through. So, a uh, forward pocket. So, yeah, no, it's a good play by Thompson thus far. Under me, no forwards. Kick two to none. So, it's uh, going along okay. Me, eight minute mark of the first quarter. And uh, LBW Chartered Accountants bringing us this first term there at Level 4, Commonwealth Bank Building in uh, Mirable Street, Geelong. Beautiful view from up there. Two straight goals, 12 points. Been up there a bit, have we, Grapper? A couple of times, a few years ago. <laughs> Thompson and Bell Post Hill are yet to open their account. LBW Chartered Accountants bringing you the action of the first quarter. GDFL footy round 10 match of the day. The sibling in the middle grabs us, puts the ball down. Taylor and Moranovic go up. Moranovic gets the tap down, falls towards the run of Nan Kervis. He gets wrapped up, still follows the ball back towards centre half. Back or put Atchison under pressure there. Lewis, that was a buffer. Nathan, he got tackled. Good punch away though towards David Wally. Runs through centre half forward, gets met by Nan Kervis. Handball over the top to Feldman. Good running, Lewis. That was Nathan. He's going to be pushed off the ball by Dench. Well Tries to kick off the ground. He can't do so. Pack develops there. White's on. Un Hands and knees, gets that ball out towards Feldman. Right foot kick by him across the face of goal out towards the boundary line. Ooh. And it's going to be out of bounds on the full. So a penalty free kick. It's going to be taken by Burke for Thompson. Who pulled out for them? Uh, for Bell Post Hill, sorry. Uh, Brendan Christensen, actually, Brent. with a thigh. Right. Great, uh, great uh, pressure, isn't it, from the Thompson defence so yep. far. Very yep. impressed with the defence. As we see Richardson go to well knock the ball on. It's worked well because Lamb has raced onto the yeah, footy. He should be able to get past him. Looks up to centre wing. Now, kicks over that to half forward. Menzies caught one from Scooter. Lewis was there. That was uh, Matty. Good footy. Leave it. As we see now, he's kicked and not a good one. <laughs> he's got it out it. park at a... I think you'll find that the, the coach, Super Boot himself, gets the free kick here for the Tigers set away. You've got a game next week, Grapper. You've just given the coach a kick. You'll be right. Yeah. <laughs> Good call no, from the commentary wait. box. Richardson now. Off blind. From the From the wing. Right foot kick towards centre half forward. Nan Kervis is back there, punched away by Nathan Lewis. Scooter now. Across half back, oh, wrapped up by Gardner. He's wrapped the ball. his forearm fair into his face, too, I think. It stunned him, Tim. He got the free kick, so I don't think he'll mind. But it's a bit of a cold day, so that'll sting, that's for sure. Mm, I got one in the first 30 seconds. The bloke said, whack, how do you do? <laughs> he doesn't look too healthy at the moment. Did you square the ledger? So no, Richardson's too old for that. <laughs> Richardson's taking the kick. Cameron Carr comes out. Does he juggle the mark? No, he doesn't. He's on hands and knees now. He gets back up. Good handball too. Looky, looky, looky. Here comes Cookie. It's a wall on the wing. He can play on quickly. He does. Left foot kick around the corner towards Feldman. Dench has got a big job on him if he's on him today. Feldman takes the mark. He's, he's in a bit to... of trouble, Timmy Gardner, eh? Yeah. Loose players everywhere now. Opportunity for the Slip. hill. Can they do something here? Looks to Hancock from center half. Penetrating in drop. The, the big fella. Oh, oh no. get a handbag, son. Should have caught that. Hans Stosic. Absolute shocker. Hand, hands and heels above the defender and couldn't take it. We'll get the runner out and tell him. It's a push in the back, wasn't it? Well, <laughs> yeah, I thought it might have been too. 
Kick in short by Harris. Into the back pocket finds Burke. So Bell Post still off the mark. They're one behind. Two straight goals. Thompson. The visitors lead by 11 points. Burke now to the outer side. The lead's on from oh. Rutherford. Oh, bounces off his chest and his head there. He's got support though, Nan Curvis. Quick little handball out towards Taylor. The big man's got a, a long way to bend down there. It's free kick. Free kick, Nan Curvis. I think he got a push there. Well, they're at their first with a letter. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, at the moment, I wanted to change my prediction. No, you I can't. Tell you the you the Panthers, going. sorry. The Panthers, uh, dairy me, very sluggish at half forward due to some fine pressure in defence there for the Tigers who uh, have kicked two straight goals, 12 points in this first quarter. Velpo still one point, and uh, gentlemen, time check shows 12 and a half minutes gone of this first quarter, brought to us by LBW, Chartered Accountants. Nan Curvis on the outer side, half back flank, short little kick in towards Taylor again, so he keeps trying to use the Ruckman, it could come unstuck here. They've got the numbers, the hilt. Hancock, right foot kick back towards good White, or a long way away from Harris. Ooh. He did well to get back onto him, no good flick out by White, or slipping over the crucial stage there. Pick was it. his teammate, Lamb now, vacant half back line goes towards the safety oh, of the boundary no. line and finds it. Good, good chase, boys. Was Brett Feldman, good pressure, yeah. forced the error on young Lamb on that uh, occasion. I don't think it was an error, it was a delivery kick out of bounds. Yeah. No, I don't think so, it was oh, a shocking God. kick. There was no one here. <laughs> Short throw in, Atchison goes up, punched it to the front of the pack, walls there. Oh, great kick too. Found yeah, Cook. That was kick. great. And Cook, the captain, the, in fact, the coach of Bell Post still goes oh. with his right boot. Good kick too to Feldman. Yeah. Picked him out. Dench has got to Chug be a little bit closer there on Brett Feldman. Chug he looks up. a bit proppy, Brett Feldman, does he? Or not? Well, yeah. it's probably too many kicks from last week. Surely got a week to get over that. Oh, it's pretty tough, mate. Don't you worry about oh, I don't Brett doubt Feldman. that for a minute. Best player in the league side was a couple he? of weeks ago. Ronnie, you and Gus picked him. Yes, got a lovely trophy, $25 voucher from Great Western, and of course an Apco Easy Shop glass ticket to present to him after this game. Feldman now comes in, good key off the boot, Put and Ronnie Brain glasses. already had it down in the book. Great and goal. Brett Feldman. It's a good play uh, by Wall. Oh, was it? wasn't it? Good kick to Cookie. Good vision. Centering yeah. perfection. Cookie oh, spotted suggest. him from uh, the fairway out. Yeah, but it's not a bad contest so far. Well, that's what we want. Better well, than last week's match of the day. Well, it is a bit better than last week's <laughs> match of the day, because they so were far, that's bad right. ink and woeful. We're going 13 minutes. Thompson, two straight goals, 12 points. Bell post still 1-1-7. One, one, Landers ball, Wisbowski, Charlie Accountant's first quarter scoreboard. Good shot of Brett Feldman there. Nice picture of his tat, too. <laughs> get a good <laughs> bit, a bit of artwork on the shoulder Lovely there, Ronnie. Lovely work. Lovely stuff indeed. Maybe you might be able to show yours later, Ron. Thank you very much. Well, has <laughs> the camera got a big white lens on it? <laughs> We're allowed to show it. <laughs> <laughs> We're allowed to show that bodily body part. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Back to the centre, Taylor and Moranovic to do the ruck work. Spelljack and Cook in there for uh, Bell Post Hill. And Lunchy Gardner Richardson's in there also for Thompson. Tapped out by Taylor, wrapped up there. Timmy Gardner's got it, looks through, recovered after that heavy knock from Scooter. Ooh. Gets around two plays, quick little kick, doesn't go to anybody in particular. Free kick found, holding the man there. Curvis to take the free kick again. Who's playing on him? Yeah, giving him a run around two and Adam Kozik at the minute. Kick they did. They're falling down at half. Both sides falling down at half forward. Kick no McFarlane today. That's no why. No McFarlane. I'd be just inclined <laughs> to throw the coach to centre half Look at him. The tank. The machine. Good play. Set it up for Wall, who's kick only a short one, but is an opportunity for the Trevelli. He fell oh, high oh, tackle yes. down the ground. The lunchbox mm -hmm. said, "Got that, young Harry," and it's going to be on. As what we see, David for? Wall just uh, suggesting that you can't do that. And uh, players, uh, fellas, getting on with the footy because Dave White's got it now half forward for the hill. He gets around Harris, kicks it to the centre of the ground. Looky, looky, looky. There Aitchie's goes Cookie. It. And oh, Atchison Collard plays the call. Opportunity now for the hill. Bouncing, bouncy, bouncing. But the kick there off the boot of Michael Batty has rushed through for a point. So. Another rush behind for the Thompson side, uh, for the Bell Post Hill side. And they go to 1 2 8. Thompson, two straight goals, 12 points still lead. Harris goes the other side. Oh, looking for the coach Richardson. He's one against three here. Lewis, that's Nathan Short, little kick. Gets a cookie now. Looky, looky, looky. Cookie's going to line him up. He goes with his right boot. And he's missed. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> dearie me. Should have fed off the hand pass, Cookie, I'm afraid, son. A little bit of selfish football. Bad option, wasn't it, from fullback? One yeah, on three. One on three. Mm. Got to watch that a bit. And you might be right, Grapper, about Richardson at centre half forward. Yeah, they just seem to be breaking down, don't they? Yeah, dirty put into the middle, though. Who's on the bench? Uh, Carmody, Carmody, Ball, and Wallace. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah my throw. Harris elects to come to the members' side, but it's oh, all Bell mm. Postal. Someone better go and tell Harris that their guys have got the gold and purple jumpers on. Fair dinkum. 
<laughs> That's twice he's done it in two minutes. Travail. Travail's got the same problem as well. <laughs> Atchison in the back pocket takes the mark. Sooty's ground. Goes back towards Travail. Kicked the kick here at the moment. Goes up Gardner as well. Punched away. They've still got the numbers the hill. Spell Jack that cook again. Uh, can, he, can he do something a little bit better this time? No, he can't because he gives it straight uh, to Harris who drops the mark. So, okay. Connie of Errors at the moment. Tries to kick off the ground. Falls towards Johnny Bartolo. Tackle without the ball. They've still got the numbers there. Thompson to hold it up. Oop. Pack develops. It comes out now. Tapped away there by Batty. Only as far as Dent. Short little kick towards Stein. Good, Good vision. And he takes the mark in front of White in the back pocket. Lambs good, on. good player, Jason Stein. Doing well early stages. Looks to Lamb. Stozic back. Good boy, Cosa. Feldman. Run on, Cos. Good boy. Spiral torpedo. Lovely good. work. And the White Man himself takes a great grab. He yeah. does. David White, the assistant coach for Bell Post Hill this season. Good play there by Cossack. Banana and, bender. And again, two against one, though, at half. You'll kick back this. there for Bell Post Hill and Thompson. So... The Tigers just needing to kick to a uh, bit of a pack of Thompson players instead of picking out the bell post. Still, he comes with a check side now, Oops, kicks it straight across the ground. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> he Lunch he goes through that. Oh, oh. it bumps into Atchison, but Atchison, though, good enough to get it out towards Kelly on his hammer, Hancock. Quick little kick around the corner, close to the boundary line. Moranovic getting over there with Nathan Lewis, two against one. They're going to beat it. They keep it in. Lewis, handball oh, is oh, sensational okay. over the top. They've still they're got the footy. numbers. That was uh, Hancock there back towards the middle of Spelljack. He's going to get wrapped up, though. He's too slow. Bartolo coming through. Hancock's there also falls towards Richardson. One step again. Long kick towards the wing. In front, Cameron Carr takes a good mark over his head. Lovely Played work, well, Cameron, Cameron Carr. Been a dash at half back so far for the Panthers. Goes in board. Good footy. And picks out young Kozik. Adam Kozik now chips over the oh, top. Terrible footy because oh, he missed the coach. And he'll get dropped oh, next week, God. I'd suggest. Slow motion. As we see now. Jesus. Opportunity, Travail trapped it well. Kicking is terrible at the moment. Travail, he oh, mucked it up. White comes in, taps it forward, but again, no Richardson. Go. Super boot. Brings it out to the members' side. The bouncer, cruel one there for Aussie. As we oh, wait now, one Rutherford. Five. He can't trap it, but Feldman can, because it's his footy. Over the top we go. Cos a good play. Oh, Aussie caught one a bit high, and he'll get the free kick. Forward, Brennan. And... Uh, Ozzy can drive this deep into attack now and try and pick out the big fella Stozic. Push across to the coach. He goes cook. straight the big bloke. Now he goes dinky. long. The lead's on out there towards Stozic. Good kick too by the coach Cook. And just in the player's defence, I think there's a bit of dew on the ground and I think it's a little bit wet out there. So obviously having a bit of trouble adjusting to it. It's mm. pretty cold. The accurate one did it again. And Fog's running. coming in, so it'll be good. Yeah, we won't be able to see. Be five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got the light on here, so we'll be right, Stozic. To come in now, left foot kick. Missed. I think he's missed it also. He's missed to the near side and oh, out of bounds on the full. He's everything. He's missed man. everything. Well, 1 3 9, Bell Post Hill. Two straight goals, 12 points. LBW Chartered Accountants bring you the first quarter, and we've been travelling, gentlemen, 20 minutes of the term. Yeah. Harris, yeah. short little kick towards Richardson. So he's everywhere in this first quarter. He's still in the back pocket. He hasn't got much on offer down the ground. He goes towards a pack. Feldman's there. Got his name written on it, but he goes, only goes one hand. Nan Curvis gets ripped off the ball. Spelljack now. Little Tommy goes towards the lead of Osborne getting up there. Oh, he's collared also. They've got the numbers back there. Richardson taps it towards the safety of the boundary. And Feldman can't keep it in there. So a boundary throw in about 30 metres around from the bell post till goal. Good play by Richardson. Good spoil, wasn't it? Boundary throw in now, short again. Stossick comes over the top, punches it towards Richardson. Quick little left foot kick. Ooh, I think he might have full. not found the safety of the boundary line on this occasion. It's out of bounds on the full and a penalty free kick. Travalo oh, sets it up for Spelljack. Atchison comes across easy as you like and takes the mark. Yeah, poor footy. Just no vision at all. And uh, we see now there's some better <sighs> vision by Atchison. Yeah, Rutherford should have held it but couldn't. Ball is a little slippery. But uh, we see kicked off the the ground Watch causing here go put down your glasses because my boy Davy Crockett bangs that through <laughs> you don't mind him as a player do you <laughs> brilliant mate got second best uh, on ground in the Inter league game I would have loved to give uh, both uh, awards to the two Bell Post Hill boys at Baruga but uh, Brett Feldman with five great goals in that game uh, just 50 but uh, yeah Wally can't play the game well they've had yeah. all the play in this first quarter Bell Post Hill We've just yeah. hit the front, bad kick and sort of kept us in it a bit. Yeah, there, two, it? yeah that's right. 2 3 two, 15. Three. They Bell could Post. Have they've been 4 1. Bell Post Hill and Thompson, two straight goals. So, 
<laughs> the home side, three points in front. Landers, Bourne, Wisbowski, Taylor Accounts, first quarter scoreboard. And Ronnie's pretty happy up here in the box. This bloke walls, miles too quick for Denchy. Isn't he? But I love it. I hope he stays there all day. You'd throw Mickey okay. Gann on him, wouldn't you? Uh, you must have put half the team on him. They'll still beat him. Uh, <laughs> you go off with a broken hand or something. Okay, let's just out. see what happens. Bounce down. It's a good one to Maranovic. <laughs> Taylor, good work, the big plugger. Oh, the hand pass, though, from uh, little Bartolo. His that? first touch oh, of the leather. That's your, well, that's your sibling, that's what it is. Yeah, and, uh, they're both Lamb. so good. Matthew and John, Lamb. they're the worst Has going the round. Set of the ground. Left foot pass, a beauty. Richardson caught one a bit high. Young Trevally. <laughs> but Richardson's got the footy. Dench off and Wallace on. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> Mm. Cook now from half back goes towards Batty. Atchison a long way away from him on this occasion. Takes a chest mark too. Wallace straight on to David Wall now with Dench off the ground. He's right next to the kick from Batty. The lead on from White. Taylor gets back in front. Can't take the mark. Lamb at the front of the back. Oh, wait, yeah. waited for Harris to come through. Shepherded for him. Ended up having to get the handball out again. Handball. Oh, further, now there's a couple. Where'd further, you get that? <laughs> further afield to Ambrose. Kelly on the wing. Up towards McDonald. Good lead by him. He's got Timmy Gard on the outside. Intends to go long now. He does. One out. Menzies behind him. Lewis in front. Goes up. Lenzi second to tap. Attempt can't take the mark. Osborne now is going to just settle the play down. Short little kick towards Bartolo. Good vision. The hill are off. Cookie now. He can run on the wing, but he went without the ball. He has to get back now. He's still got time to set something up. High kick is a poor one. Atchison's going to be able to get back in front of Wall. Good play, though, by Wall. They come across and spoil. And it's out of bounds on the half forward flank for Bell Post Hill. Question, Should have gone the Cook, middle. is he fit? Not handling know. the ball very well, is he? He just went off there without it. He doesn't look too fit. He's got a hand on hip already. Yeah, has he played many games? I don't not? think he has. Sveljak through the middle of the pack. Throw oh, on the ball. The ball. Yes, he did. Good call, Grapper. It's not my cousin. <laughs> it's not your cousin. No wonder. You'll get no invites to any of their parties coming up, Grapper, that's for sure. You've bagged both Matthew and Jonathan. They're terrible. Atchison, <laughs> Atchison right foot kick up towards Nan Curvis. Had his eyes on it and took a good mark. The lead was on there from Carmody. It goes in that direction Harding. now. In front. Oh, over the oh. back there. In fact, it was Harding, sorry. Over the back there was Gibbs. Pack develops at centre-half forward. Oh, JJ, Lewis that off, was off the ground. Off the ground, game. the echo. Well, it's going to end up OK because Rutherford is going to be able to push it through for a goal. He, he certainly is. Well done. He's done very well there. Yeah, it was good effort by... Uh, was it Aitchie down here yes, in the back line? it was. Yeah. Kick towards Nan Curvis, who got around quickly. Kicked it towards the lead of Harding. And a kick off the ground by JJ. Jay. Set up Rutherford. Yeah. Great quarter of footy as time on now approaches. Thompson, three straight goals, 18 points. Uh, lead Bell Post Hill by three. They've had two, three, 15. More shots at goal, but trial on the LBW chart and account and scoreboard. And can you give an explanation for why, uh, Shane Grapsis? Why? Who's yeah. trailing? <laughs> well, they've had five shots to three, and yet they're lead, trailing. Lad run rush point and two sh deliberate shots that went straight across the face and missed, and ball kicked one out of bounds on the full, so they probably should be three or four up. But to our credit, they've fought on pretty well, being under man the forward line. They've worked hard to get their goals, and they've, and they've paid off. But... Um, they're going OK. I think the fog's set in and Grapper's brain too. Comes out towards Kosick on the wing. Right foot kick around the corner. Stein's going to get back there first. He's going to have Gann. Get out of his way. He gets out of his way. Grapper's called it. Mickey Gann comes off the back pocket. Goes towards the wing. Scooter's going to get back there. Eyes for the ball. Can't take the mark. It's like, oh, Rutherford just couldn't keep it in. Tried to trap it. But it's going to be out of bounds. Mick Gann bleeding from the lip. Bleeding from the lip. Well, you better tell your cousin. He might have to take him off for the blood rule. No. <laughs> Should have got six weeks, Batty, for that elbow. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. One well, of their blokes has spotted it. heard you, Grapper. Yeah. We've all got blood, you deal. <laughs> Just some of it's with him. <laughs> Check if he's got blood. Well, he has. He's got it on his lip and he's going to have to come off. That's a pretty so. comical call from Central Up by Darren Bench. <laughs> Has he got blood? <laughs> <laughs> Is he breathing? Is he breathing? <laughs> you wacker. <laughs> <laughs> so Gann comes off the ground. Carmody on. And Carmody on to replace him. So he has to wait until he goes all the way down to Tommy Sveljak on the back pocket. <laughs> so he has to wait until he gets down there next to Tommy Sveljak in the back pocket. So just a lull in proceedings here. Three points of difference. The visitors in front. 
the Tigers. Boundary throwing now just on the attacking side of wing for Thompson. Cook, Cook comes over the top. Oh, JJ well, traps it, wrapped up by Bartolo. Falls to Richardson, gets his hands free. Gets a kick away, a floater, only as far as Cameron Carr. He takes the mark at half back. Yeah, Cameron Carr, one of the better players in this first term. Left foot kick, a beauty. Well weighted and picks out Hancock at centre of the ground. Plays on quickly. Left foot kick, drops short, wide in front. Good play. Back to Hancock. The hand pass a little bit too well weighted. Oh, and, uh, oh man, Curvis is left foot kick puts Rutherford under oh. all sorts of pressure and allows the hell now to clear the footy but oh good work man Curvis just nullified that bad hand pass coming out there at uh, Johnny Bortello deary me not good and uh, hasn't had a lot of influence in the game so far causes a bounce down bounce in the middle now Moravik gets there Bartolo good thump away Atchison and Batty in the race of the ball, Batty tries to tap it on, runs into wall, getting back there, Cossig as well on hands and knees. There's a half forward for Bell Post. He'll pack the bell some umpire bench to come in and bounce the ball. Close to siren time here for quarter time. Three points of difference. Three straight goals, Thompson. 2 3 15 Bell Post till they've had most of the play in their forward line in this first quarter. Moranovic and Taylor goes up. Good, good, knock. good knock away too towards Richardson. Nearly fell over, but got his kick away. One lunch step. Oh, Lunchy pushing the back. <laughs> you wacker. <laughs> you can't do that. No, you can't do that. And Osborne now. Not that blatant anyway. Osborne to take the free kick at centre half back for Bell Post Hill. Plays on now. Out towards the wing wall. Lewis goes up, push there. Air yeah, free down kick. The field. Oh, jeez. Why would you do that? So Gardner. Right, well now, if, any, if there's any discipline at Bell Post Hill, he should come straight off the ground, that bloke. Oh, we're just here at their box. I need to tell Chris <laughs> Gardner now, oh, poor kick. It away. It's gonna, oh, Cameron, Cameron Carr, who's probably been the best Bell Post Hill player in this first quarter. Takes the mark in front of McDonald. Goes short out towards Lewis. He picks it up good on the half volley. Plays on quickly. Oh, great kick too out to Cossick. And he's only got Taylor in front of him now, the little man. He's got Cook in support. Oh, he can't pick it up at the first attempt. He keeps it in front of him now and keeps running. Cookie now sprints away from Taylor. Up towards full forward, goes back there, Burke, and also there was Carmody. Stosic, he's on his left foot too. Oh, he gets wrapped up. Spelljack comes across in support. Can he pick it up? He does, and then he gets pushed in the back. Out towards Stosic again at the back of the pack. Atchison's well back there also. And Good sees pressure. it over the boundary line. Gee, what an opportunity. Gone big in there for the Panthers because time's moving on. We've been going about 28 and a half minutes of the first quarter, and another six-pointer there would have been very handy would have been for the hill. For Which way is the only wind? Well, yeah, Bruce really coming from the city side of the ground. Really grappling. No great goal advantage, no advantage I'd suggest. No. Ball back into play. Richardson, busy in defence, flicks the ball out. Good work there to Kelly. Kelly's kick set a week. Could be a push on there. Curvis not... against him. It was there. <laughs> and you need to open up both eyes, Shane Gapses. <laughs> as Nathan Lewis gets the free kick. Lewis now runs away, two bounces, runs the half forward. The lead's on from Batty, it's going to be over his head and Atchison's good punch. Oh, oh no. That. no. Yes, it was there, boys. No, no, Man no, in no, front. No, no, no. Crap. No. Sorry, gentlemen. No. Look Spell at the Jack. replay. Action replay tells no lies. Svelgek was intimidated prior to ball coming. High tackle and gets the free kick. Jeez, I wonder who you've got your money on today. Bell Post Hill, of course, <laughs> trying to redeem some of last week. It's 500 from last week. Mm. Spelljack now to have a chance to put a vital goal for Bell Post Hill on the board and their lead also. Spelljack, oh, he gets underneath the ball, but it's straight through the middle. That's all you need to do, Tommy Spelljack. Goal. And that's a goal. So a critical goal just before quarter time here. Bell Post Hill, 3-3-21, regain the lead. Thompson, three straight goals, 18 points. Landers, Bull and Wisbowski. Charlie Accountant's first quarter scoreboard as we see Carmody coming off the ground and to be replaced by Mickey Gann after having his blood checked and he's still got some, he's back on the ground. He's a positive in his role. <laughs> he's a positive, <laughs> yeah. I thought then Curse was stiff over on the far side there to get a free kick against him, whether they just locked legs or arms or something. I think that one was together. there, but I don't know about the second one. Gave okay. himself away with the arm out. Right, he's clutching his straws. And we'll be buying Jonathan Graps as a drink tonight, I'd say. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the centre, Taylor and Moranovic. Taylor has to sit and wait. Moranovic, good tap away. Oh. Gardner through his legs. Feldman now. Stein comes at him. Left foot kick up towards White. And also in front there, Harris. Can't take the mark. Falls to Tommy. Two in a minute. Can you do it, Tommy? Going. He can. Spelljack. Oh, -ho. Good, Raven. good up. play by Feldman, wasn't it? Yeah. The middle. And a good tap away by Moranovic. Yeah. Great footy. The Panthers are back. 
four, three, twenty-seven. Where were they? Bell Post Hill. Thompson three straight, eighteen, and the margin now stretching to nine points. The biggest margin of the afternoon, and that's courtesy of LBW Chartered Accountants. Level four, Commonwealth Bank Building in Geelong. Give them a call on two, one, six, triple one, and they'll take the stress and worry out of your life. <laughs> and whack it straight in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Down by a nice feet on a Saturday night. Yeah, they'll be right. <laughs> Back in the centre up by Graf just now. Put the ball down. Close to siren time here. Nine points of difference. Taylor and Moranovic. Taylor goes up Too early, early again. Moranovic straight to Bartolo. Oh, he's ripped off the ball by Gardner. Tries to kick it off the ground. Gardner again through the pack. Handball out towards it. Kelly. Trip there. And it's going to be a free kick. But not going to be able to... Well, well he's paid 50, so... 50. Yeah, he's paid 50 for the trip because it's an automatic 50 metre penalty when you get it when you get tripped. So yeah, they somebody tell them or they just play and forget about it and then they go oh. oh that's, a, that's the rule. Oh I know that, yeah. but I mean one of our blokes would have been saying it's 50. Well, hopefully the umpire knows the rules. That's what he's here for. Good mm, work, Ranovic, running down yep. the ground there now to stand right at that band. He needs to go 10 metres back so he can run and jump at it to get a handle on it because Timmy Gardner will kick this. He has. No, he's Tell you what, he's just hooked it slightly. It's stuck it's a in goal. It. You'll find oh, a good goal. great goal. Jimmy Gardner on the bell in this first quarter, round 10, GDFL match of the day. And what a game of football we have got uh, here so this far. afternoon, gentlemen. Yeah. Certainly. Yes, goal kickers to quarter time for Bell Post. Still two to Tommy Speljack. He's kicked their last two goals. Brett Feldman has one and David Wall also has one. And for Thompson, with Dale Menzies, Alan Richardson, Paul Rutherford. And that one on the siren by Timmy Gardner, courtesy of a 50-metre penalty from the middle. So on the Landers, Bull and Wisbowski, Charlie Accountants quarter time scoreboard. The home side, 4-3-27 lead. Thompson, four straight goals, 24. Best players, boys? For mine, Bell Post still car was good. Oh, yeah. Uh, 26, who's that? Scooter. Yeah, Christian yep. Scooter. He's done okay. Feldman's done okay. And their Ruckman, 20. He's okay. having a good duel with yep. uh, I've got Nathan Taylor. And there's a good duel at centre-half back and centre-half forward with Ageson and Batty. Certainly David Wall and Adam Kozik, other honourable performers in that first quarter for the Hill. Likewise, David Cook. For the Thompson side, I thought uh, Jason Stein was their better player at half-back. I liked his game... I thought the coach, the coach has been did there very well in everything from half forward to half back. And also young uh, Mickey Gann, wasn't Mickey Gann enough, yeah. and Terry Nan Curvis, other good performers here this afternoon. Uh, I'd suggest Bartolo, midfielder, got to get into it a bit more as Timmy Gardner does for the Tigers. Yeah, I think that blow to the head <laughs> might have stunned Timmy for a little while. He'll be back in that second quarter. We'll be back with that. Three points of difference. The quarter time, Bell Post still 4-3, 27. Lee Thompson, four straight goals.